What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we actually are going to go over a lot of things. So, if you guys don't know, um, we're pretty much just going to go over what you should be doing in My Team right now, how to make MT, and all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, sub if you are new, and make sure to follow my Twitter for MT giveaways. Let's get 120 likes on this video. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Alrighty, so let's get into it. I got a lot to talk about. A lot because honestly, for the Hall of Fame game, you need 10 cards from each position to complete the challenge. So I want to talk about this because you guys could make thousands of MT if you have these cards and if you're not doing the solos. Because honestly, I'm going to do it. So here we go. If you do understand what I'm saying, you should because dude, we're about to make so much MT. And honestly, you guys should hop on this. I'm selling every card here because I'm not doing the solos. I'm not going for collector. It is time to sell every single card you have. Like straight up. If you have all these cards, honestly, I'm not doing the solos. I'm not planning on doing any of them. If I do, I'll buy it back. I don't care. But right now, you should take advantage of this because you can make thousands, if not millions of MT. Not only that, you should probably hop on... Uh, what's it called? NBA 20. Here it is. The new one. So series two, bro. This filter right now might be straight money. Honestly, I honestly would hop on this filter for 950 if anything pops up like right there. I missed it. This filter is probably the best filter in the game right now. If anything pops up, you're making MT. So if you get an amethyst, if you get a diamond, I'll take that. There we go. There's my first night. I actually probably gonna make a decent amount of MT, even if it's a bronze, quick MT. You're gonna make MT off this filter regardless. No matter what pops up. If you wanna oh, that's a good one right there. I missed it. Yep, missed it. Ah, so emeralds, sapphires, rubies, whatever pops up. Because if you go to a thousand, this stuff pops up. These are snipes. I'm picking this up. 1k. Give me that. Everyone on this filter is a money. Honestly, every filter in the game right now is going to be straight money. That's a snipe. So you guys can clearly see how easy it is to get snipes on this filter. That's another one. Give me that. Ah, that was a good one. Because these cards are rare. Considering the fact... Oh, I missed the better one. Ah, Kostas on Tetsu Kumbo for 650. Give me that. Yo, we're about to make bad MT on this filter. So I just found the best MT making method in the game. Ah, oh, we botched it. Definitely try hitting up this filter, and if not, oh, oh. All right, so yeah, this is the new MT making method, straight up. Every single card I got could sell for at least a thousand, means you minimum make a two thousand MT profit. I mean, uh, a two hundred MT profit, no matter what you pick up, no matter what you pick up. If you pick up a certain cards, go for a lot more than other cards. Not only that, man, the amethyst filter is gonna be really good. Um, pretty much every filter in the game, but honestly. I'm about to sit on this filter all day. So we're going to go over this filter. We're going to show you guys how good this method is. On that filter in about two minutes, I probably made around 5,000 MT. And if you guys continuously do this, you don't even need a lot of MT to do it. It's that You really don't even need a lot of MT to do it. But also, the 600 filter is now also one of the best filters in the game. Because if anything pops up in the current series 2 and you would end up picking up, it's money. So there's a lot to be doing now. Because... It's crazy. Like this new, I, I didn't think about this, but the solos really did create a really good MT making method, which makes me want to play this game a lot more than usual. So let's see if things, oh, that's a good snipe. We missed it. Oh my God. We're missing these emeralds. They're going for like 1500. I'll take that. Miss that. Oh my goodness. So, oh, that's not a good one. You guys, I think it's only current series two. If I'm wrong, let me know down below. Because 
Oof, I just found the best MT making method in the game for you guys, and I'm dropping it. I don't care. This MT making method is going to make you hundreds of thousands of MT in an hour. In an hour, bro. I literally just showed you. Yes, you're going to miss a ton. Yes, a ton of people are going to be on this. But what am I going to do? I'm going to make mad MT on this. Oh, that's a really good one. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, my God. That was a really good one. Wow. That's so annoying. <laughs> I'm literally just going to sit on this filter for the rest of the video just to show you guys how money it is. That one, I'm going to stay away from Dort because he was from the locker code. So pretty much every other dude besides Dort you want to pick up because Dort is the troll. There we go. Actually, I'll pick that one up and I missed it. Dort's going for like a K. He has no rarity whatsoever. He wasn't a huge locker code. It was like Dort tokens or some shoot like that. If you didn't type that in, you should probably do that. You have a chance of getting a ton of tokens if you didn't already. But let's just check some pricing because honestly... Just to show, I I missed that, man. So, we got D'Angelo Russell Sapphire for around, what, 8-something, 6-something? I don't know. Let's check out his price. D'Angelo Russell Sapphire. Let's see what he's actually going for. He's probably going for around 1,000 MT, I would say. We should see, though. We're going to make MT off him regardless, hopefully. All right, so look at that right there. We got a Sapphire for around 800 MT. He's rocking around 1750, so... We're going to make close to 1,000 MT in a minute off that card. The bronzes pretty much sell for like, I would say, I don't know. It depends. It really depends. Like Joel Embiid probably went up a ton. He was going for really cheap. So let's check out Joel Embiid's price. I will be posting every single card on the market. I probably pulled like 10 Joel Embiid's. No way he's that expensive. No way. Are you serious? No, I'm freaking out. No possible way. If he's actually that much money, we're going to make thousands of MT. All right. He's around 6K, but he was around 2,000 MT. 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Okay, bro. That's fine. He was around 2,000 MT. So pretty much every single card in the game did end up rising a ton because of this thing. So every card in the game is up double, if not triple. And we're about to dub out big time on this. Guys, this is the number one MT making method in the game, and I'm dropping it for you guys. It's a banger. Please drop a like because, honestly, you no. Know, I mean, most of you guys might know this, but for all of you guys that don't know this, this is absolutely amazing. If you don't want to do the solos, you have chances of making close to a million MT if you popped like a 120 box. If you popped a little bit of packs with MT here and there, which I know all you guys do cheat and buy packs. I know you guys can't stick to all MT methods. I know you guys buy packs. So when you pulled crap out of packs, they're going to pay off now because a lot of these cards are really expensive and you should definitely take advantage. So everyone in my card is getting sold. And honestly, I want you guys to let me know what you've been doing to make MT down below. Let me know how this filter has been going, how this MT making method has been going for you. And have you? do you have a lot of cards in your collection? Is it worth selling? Is it worth going for collector level? In my opinion, bro, collector level is honestly not worth it whatsoever. If you, oh, that's a good one. Oh my God, we missed it. If you are really boosting for collector level, now is not the time. These cards are way too expensive. It's time to get rid of your collector's cards and make that MC. Take advantage while you can. Follow this method. Sit on the snipe filter. Sit on any snipe filter, period. Oh, that's a good one. I missed it. Ah. Uh. So pretty much gold tier and up are the rare ones. That's a good one. I missed it because this game is broken. Oh, I got it. Let's check out DeMarcus Cousins before we end this video. And in this video, I showed you I've made about 10K in less than like five minutes. So Emerald Boogie Cousins, I got him for around 1,000 MT. He's going for around 2,700. So that's almost 2,000 MT made. About 1,500 MT made of that car alone. So if you guys want to make your MT for cheap prices, make sure to do this method. I'm dropping it right after this. It'll be out soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Peace.